What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how Drake's Slime You Out featuring Sizzle was made. Let's get into the video. This song was produced by Benny X, Grant LaPointe, Noel Cadasta, 40, Drake, Drake, and D10. And for my Patreon supporters, the FLP and the Stems are now available to you guys. I think we have a couple spots left in the Beatmaker and Producers Lounge tiers, so get in quick, otherwise these samples are going to be going to someone else. All right. First off, the tempo for this project is at the, probably the strangest tempo I've ever seen, which is 118.663. If we go to Who Sampled, we can see that Slime You Out features the Soul Suburbs Just Ask Me. There are other instruments playing with that sample. So we're going to go into an AI stem extractor called LaLal AI. So we're uploading the audio to LaLal AI. And this is used some fancy AI technology to convert the song into vocal and instrumental. So this is the vocal. Just ask me and I'll cool, whatever. And then I downloaded that, bring it back into the project, chopping out this first part here. Just ask me then this part here. You. We're chopping up this guy. The way to now that's in time, and we're just going to drop this down by one semitone, which is a hundred cents. Then we're simply adding that to the mixer, adding two different effects to it. First one is a reverb, then second one is a compressor. And I made this compressor plugin with WA Production. You can check this out in the description. It's called Presser. It's a really powerful compressor plugin if you're interested. Second sample I'll show you really quick is a pretty goaded six guard sample, which originally comes from Biggie Smalls' 10 Crack Commandments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I merely brought that into the playlist six. and we're adding Fruity Delay 3. Six, six, six. So that's all the vocal samples. Next up, we have the piano. I found what I'm pretty confident is the identical piano from Addictive Keys. It is the Studio Grand preset, and you bring the velocity down to zero. It adds a really cool R&B lo-fi effect, which I've seen a lot of artists use, is they've brought in Addictive Keys, and they brought this velocity thing down to the zero. And we're playing these chords. I like how this first chord is a bit of like a little bit of a tease because it goes down to boom. Control L. Some nice powerful chords there, which is layering on with the sample. Then layering on with the piano, we have this really nice lush synth pad, which I created on Serum. It's the PD center pad, which you can find in their pads right here. When you originally find it, it's gonna sound something like this. But I lay it on some chorus with a heavy low pass filter. So nothing too crazy just yet, but then we come in with the synth pluck. And this is a plucking synth that reminds me a lot of actually Medusa's sound. Medusa is an EDM trio. They produce the song Peace of Your Heart and they use this plucking sound a lot in their songs. And this layers in so nicely with the piano. I'll show you how we made the preset. So to make this preset, you want to open up Serum, bring down oscillator A by one octave, bring up the unison to around five, bring the detune in a little bit, then oscillator B. For oscillator B, we're going into the wavetable, going to digital, go by pole harmonic. We're also going to bring this down by one octave and let's bring this up to six, six unison. Then let's go to envelope one. Attack is 1.5. Decay is 1.4. Sustain down to negative 7.4. And let's bring the release up to like three seconds. Adding a filter onto A and B. We're going to modulate the cutoff using envelope one, which is a very fancy serum thing that you can do. Then we add some compression. Let's make it multi-band and let's bring up the gain up to around 16.3. Then we're adding some chorus. Bring this up to like 6.1. Boost this to like two seconds. Then around 2.3 seconds. And this envelope has one purpose and one purpose only. Got to drag this onto the chorus on uh, up here. Before. And this is just opening up that first punch of the sound. EQ, reverb.
Then we're layering on this sub bass, which I found on June 6V, which is the home bass. This is gonna make the mix sound more full and energetic. Then last but not least, we have all of the identical drum samples from the original song. And there's only three samples. Let's start off with the identical kick sample. This is the kick best. And I was so stoked when I found this sample because you bring it into the project and compare it with the kick sample, which is a weird looking kick sample, by the way. You bring it in and you line it up, it matches perfectly. As you can see, this was the same kick that was used in the original song. And the kick plays quite sparingly. And this is one of the things I like about this song is that it utilizes a slightly different time signature. So normally you'd see kicks playing like this, but it's playing on the third of the beat. Adds a bit more swing to the sound. Next up we have the rim shot. Nothing too crazy about this one. Finally, we have this hi-hat sample coming in. That is it for the instrumental. This was a relatively simple one, but I still wanted to do this remake for those of you that wanted to see it. This is the final result. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of our other videos, check out our last remake, How Fiend by Travis Scott and Playboy Cardi was made. Also another really good remake is Niagara Falls remake uh, about Travis Scott, Metro Boomin. Another good one. And it looks like my camera just died, so I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>